This is episode 41 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? Just ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to Just Ask Joey. I am your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over your idiocy. And speaking of idiot, and this is actually having to get over your idiocy, Ryan Lochte, the Loch Ness Monster, the embarrassment of America. Come on, people. Is it really that bad what he did? Is he, did he disgrace the United States? Did he give us anything different than we already knew about him? It's Ryan Lochte. Do you remember what would Ryan Lochte do? He's an idiot. I don't care if he's 32. He's an idiot. And being somebody who was a 32-year-old idiot, I can spot him when I see him. And he's definitely an idiot. Did we learn anything new with this situation? I mean, like, honestly, we learned that uh, Ryan Lochte's an idiot. We should have already known that. If we didn't know that, then we're the idiots. And uh, two, uh, the media hypes the crap out of stuff and makes things sound way worse than they actually are. If we don't know that, then we're idiots also. Watch the news any night of the week. It's always the the worst storm in 100 years. The worst flood in 100 years. A murder that shook the city to its core. The crime rates are skyrocketing. It's always over-glamorized. It's always over-sensationalized. And they did that to Ryan Lochte also. Did he vandalize the store? I think maybe he pulled down a poster. They made it sound like he was pissing all over the store. He peed on the bathroom floor. I pee on the bathroom floor by accident all the time. I pee in the shower on purpose. Granted, it's my shower, but it still happens. Who's never been drunk and peed on the floor? Have you ever been to a bar at any time after midnight? There's piss everywhere. Did they get a gun pulled on them? No. Nobody pulls a gun on somebody for pissing on the floor. What did they do in Rio? They pulled a gun on him for pissing on the floor. Did he exaggerate? Of course. Of course he exaggerated, but he's, he's also an idiot. And keep in mind, the only reason this story got out is because his mom was talking to a reporter. And it turns out that maybe Ryan Lochte got his intelligence from his mother. No offense, Mrs. Lochte, but that was pretty retarded. And then the media just runs with it. Oh, Ryan Lochte, you know, robbed at gunpoint and this and that. And remember, they're running this story first. So he just didn't deny it afterwards. And then went along with the interview. Like, he's he's an interesting dude. But we all, we, we knew he was interesting. Come on. I mean, really? You didn't know Ryan Lochte was an idiot? Seriously? So I, I look at this and go, people are like, oh my God, he embarrassed the country. Like, people are going to look down on Americans in this. It's like, man, we have people uh, burning American flags all over the place. And it has nothing to do with Ryan Lochte pissing on a bathroom floor. ISIS did not just gain... Uh, a thousand new recruits because Ryan Lochte pissed on the floor. So can we put this in perspective, please? He's an idiot. That's it. Is he an American embarrassment? No, he's not an American embarrassment. Come on, let's be real. There's plenty more things to be embarrassed about. Like the election. Let's. You want to be embarrassed about America? Let's, come on. Trump? Really? Hillary? Really? We, we got a lot more problems than Ryan Lochte peeing on a freaking floor in Rio. Honestly, come on, people, get it together. Um, and let's talk about the heroism of, of Ryan Lochte's sponsors. He got dropped by four sponsors yesterday. So he's out, I'm assuming, hundreds of thousands of dollars, a hundred, I don't know. I don't know how much money a swimmer gets. But let's put this in perspective. They dropped a person that nobody's going to give a shit about for at least four years. And Ryan Lochte's 32. He's probably not going to be swimming when he's 36. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. But nobody's going to care either way for four years. 
So for you to go, for them to go, oh, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna drop Ryan Lochte. We're gonna, we can't have this. This is embarrassment. Blah blah blah. blah. Seriously, seriously, come on. That's like, that's like Notre Dame having those arrests the other day and going, well, we're kicking some players off. Who did they kick off? They kicked off the shitty senior and they kept all the promising sophomores and freshmen. So nice little PR stunt you guys got there, but nobody's going to care about Ryan Lochte or swimming or track or uh, any Olympic sport except for soccer for the next four years. So what you did is not exactly like, come on, really? So... I know some people are irritated with Ryan Lochte, but I think if you sat back and you didn't watch the news and didn't watch people telling you that you should be mad over and over and over and over and over again, would you really be that mad? You got to be able to separate yourself from what you actually feel from what people are telling you to feel because people, the news will always tell you to feel scared. The news will always tell you to be angry. How often do you watch a news story and go, man, that was really heartwarming? When does that happen? Probably one time on Christmas. And maybe CBS Sunday morning. They got some positive stuff on there. But for the news in general, the idea is to grab your attention. And instead of grabbing your attention with something positive, the news goes, oh, we're going to glamorize the crap out of stuff. We're going to make stuff sound as terrible as possible. So what do they do? Ryan Lochte vandalizes a store and pisses all over the place and blah, 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 and all this stuff. What did he do? He pushed down a bathroom door, peed on the floor, pulled down a poster, paid 400 bucks, and walked away. That's the story. That's the real story. So if you still want to be mad after knowing the facts be my guest but that's kind of the downside there's a lot of downside of the media but that's one really downside of the one horrible side of the media doing what they do is when the truth comes out your emotions are already locked in so you have a hard time changing them have you ever hated somebody and 10 years later you hate them is there a reason to hate them probably not there probably wasn't really a reason to hate them in the first place but it's hard to let go of really intense emotions and that's what the news does the news tries to get you locked in with really intense emotions and then they go oh it wasn't so bad and you're still left there with that emotion so Lochte I feel bad for you you probably were going to lose those sponsors anyways because nobody gives a shit about your sport for four years anyways not that they you know not that it deserves to be ignored but nobody cares about swimming They will in four years. Stop talking about being, saying how sorry you are. It was a mistake. Just go and do your thing. Get some stuff lined up. Get your manager together. Start some new things. Do a couple, I don't know, maybe do a couple PR stunts. Stop talking about how sorry you are. If you were really that sorry, you wouldn't have ditched ditched your teammates in, uh, in Rio because you knew shit was about to go down. But whatever, man. You're 32. Move on. Ignore all this shit. Start something else. Change the narrative. You're, you're a popular guy. So as soon as you start changing the narrative, their narrative is going to change because people will see it. So keep your chin up. Maybe another hair removal company will, will sponsor you. If anybody has any uh, reaction to this, you guys want to discuss it a little bit more, talk about embarrassment, talking about the media, hit me up. I'm more than happy to discuss Ryan Lochte peeing on the floor and it being a national travesty, if you would like. All right? I'll see you guys soon. And she was like, huh? And he was like, nah. and we was like, what? Fuck it, let's go, let's go.